IntuMath uses a student-centered approach that fosters the development of confident problem solvers through the use of carefully crafted mathematical tasks and embedded discourse. Your students will develop proficiencies in mathematics and become fearless problem solvers. And that's really what math is all about. They'll learn to communicate and collaborate to persevere through those rigorous tasks and develop learning mindsets all along the way. They'll engage in structured discussions to reason and make connections within and across concepts. The mathematical practices and processes are an integral part of a student's experience in mathematics. And supporting students with developing these habits of mind throughout their school career will ensure that they develop a proficiency in mathematics. Into Math Instruction will integrate these standards every step of the way. So the mathematical practices and processes explain ways in which students engage with mathematical content. These are necessary skills for success in math and for the ability to apply their math knowledge and processes within real world contexts. The careful and thoughtful design of the content, which we call the content architecture, is integral to the success of your students. Today's math standards require an instructional shift. I'm sure many of you are aware of this shift and have been working to plan learning experiences that meet the focus, coherence, and rigor of the standards. Here's how Into Math addresses this shift. Let's start with focus. So Into Math focuses on deeply developing concepts and skills at each grade level according to the cognitive complexity expectation for that math standard. Then coherence. Math topics are coherent within and across grade levels, following a learning path that makes sense for your students. And along the way, we help you by giving you that learning path, both at the beginning of the module and at the lesson level in the teacher planning materials. Now, when it comes to rigor, to ensure that your students meet the rigor of the standards, we've built in three different types of lessons for the three different types of learning that happens across the rigorous learning arc. The first type of lesson are the build conceptual understanding lessons. These are the ones that are really hands-on. The second type of lessons start to help us connect concepts and skills. So building from that hands-on learning, the conceptual to the procedural fluency. So of course, then the third type of lesson are the procedural fluency lessons. We call those apply and practice lessons. So this design around three types of lessons helps students build a strong foundation of conceptual understanding before they become fluent with concepts and procedures. And along the way, we help build that bridge between the conceptual to the procedural fluency with those connecting lessons. This learning arc really helps us tie together coherence and rigor. Now, what are some of the differences between those lessons? Well, in the build understanding lessons, those conceptual lessons, we'll begin with spark your learning task. These tasks help students develop productive perseverance and are built with a low floor, high ceiling model. That means all students have an entry point into the problem and all students can feel challenged by that problem as well. Remember that the second type of lessons are those connecting lessons, connecting concepts and skills. That's in the middle of the learning arc. And these lessons are going to help you bridge content for your students so that they can make those important connections between concepts and procedures. Your students are going to discuss and evaluate solution strategies and begin to generalize when and why to use each strategy or procedure. And then that third type of lesson, the apply and practice. These procedural lessons will help you support fluency with procedures. These lessons correlate to standards that expect fluency with concepts and procedures. The tasks focus on understanding how procedures work and when to use them. This makes for a really nice design within the program. You always know where you are in that learning arc because we've clearly marked the types of lessons that we're putting in front of students. And you can rest assured that we've used the latest and the best research around what works for students. Again, in connecting conceptual understanding or that hands-on learning that we love so much 
with the procedural fluency that's so vital and important to students learning and their ongoing understanding of mathematics.